Hello friends, this video on induction part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please watch induction part 1. Let's take this question, this is a little tricky. So we have to prove that 7 to the power n minus 3 to the power n is divisible by 4. That means 7 to the power n minus 3 to the power n is 4 into d. d is some constant. So we will now prove this for n is equal to 1. For n is equal to 1, 7 to the power 1 is equal to 7 to the power 1 minus 3 to the power n is equal to 3 to the power 1 is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So we can see 4 is a multiple of 4. For n is equal to k, let's assume that this is true for n is equal to k. That means 7 to the power k minus 3 to the power k is equal to 4 of d. Let's assume this is true. Now we have to prove that for n is equal to k plus 1, this is true. For n is equal to k plus 1, LHS will be 7 to the power k plus 1 minus 3 to the power k plus 1. This will be our LHS. So now, but we know 7 to the power k plus, we know the value of 7 to the power k minus 3 to the power k. So we will have to somehow convert this 7 to the power k plus 1 minus 3 to the power k plus 1 into this form, 7 to the power k minus 3 to the power k. So we can also write this as 7 into 7 to the power k minus 3 into 3 to the power k. So if we can, here we can do some subtraction and division we can convert this into this form. So 7 into 7 to the power k, if we say in this equation only, if we, I'll say like this, if you subtract 7 into 3 to the power k, because 7 into 7 to the power k, if you take k and common, this becomes 7 to the power k minus 3 to the power k, we can write into 4d. Since we are subtracting, we have to add this 7 to the power k. Correct? And we can use this. So in this form, what we are doing is we can write this in this form of 4D. So what we get is 7 into 7 to the power k minus 3 to the power k plus 7 to the, into 3 to the power k minus 3 into 3 to the power k is equal to 4 into 3 to the power k. And this becomes 7 into 4D because we have assumed that this is equal to 4D in equation 1 plus 4 into 3 to the power k. So what you get is 4 common into 7d plus 3 to the power k. This will also become some number multiple of 4. So when we, we can prove that the LHS that is 7 into to the power k plus 1 minus 3 to the power k plus 1 is equal to 4 into some number. That means this number is also divisible by 4. So we have proved this using this. That means this statement is true for a value of 4. So what we have done here, we have proved the statement is true for n is equal to 1. We have assumed that this statement is true for n is equal to k and we have proved that this statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Here we have done, we have applied some logic here, some brains. So where here we had 7 into 7 to the power k minus 3 into 3 to the power k. We have to convert into this form because we know the value of this. So we have subtracted and added this value because we wanted to convert in this form and we got the answer. Let's take example. So we are told that we have to prove that 1 square plus 2 square plus 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 till n square is greater than n cube by 3. Using binomial using induction. For n is equal to 1, we get LHS is equal to 1 square and RHS is equal to 1 cube by 3. So we see 1 is greater than 1 by 3. So it is correct. Now we'll assume that for n is equal to k it is correct. So we'll say that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till k square is greater than k cube by 3. We'll assume this. This is statement 1. We have to prove that. If we can prove that if it is true for n is equal to k plus 1, we are done. So what we'll do then? This statement we can also write as or we can say 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square uh, dot dot root k square is equal to k square by 3 plus some constant. We can write because a is greater than b, we can say a is equal to 
b plus c. This is our first equation. This is our equation one. We'll take this as equation one, not this. We'll take this because it is easy to solve using equal to sign than using greater than sign. We can use this also, but this will make our life easy. Now, for n equal to k plus one, we get one square plus two square plus three square plus k square plus k plus one whole square. This is what we'll get. Now we know the value of one square plus two square till k square. We have got this. So this becomes k cube by three plus c plus k plus one whole square. I'll expand this. This becomes k square plus two k plus one. This is what we got. Now we'll take one by three common because we have to form in this form. So we have to tell that this guy is greater than k plus one whole cube by so we have to prove that this guy is equal to this plus some constant. We have to prove that this thing is equal to this. So we'll take one by three common. So we get k q plus three c plus three k square plus six k plus three. But you know k plus one whole cube is equal to k q plus three k square plus three k. Plus one. So we'll take this term common first. We can say one by three plus k q plus three k square plus I'll take three k here. So I'll add three k somewhere here. Plus one. So I'll add plus two here. Plus one. So I, what I have written this? I have just written whatever I it comes in k plus one whole cube. I written in first here. This become k q plus two k three k square plus three k plus one. Plus this number, so this I can also write one by three into k plus one whole cube plus constant, some constant, because this plus this is also constant. This constant by three is also constant, and that's what we have to prove. And we have proved. So here, what we have done, n is equal to one true, n is equal to k assume, n is equal to k plus one. We have proved it to be correct. We have used this k q plus three k q by three plus c as one square plus two square till k square, and then we expanded k plus one whole square. We got this. We knew that we wanted to form this equation of this form k plus one whole cube by three. So we have written this part here. The other part we have assumed is constant, and then we have proved that this is equal to one by three k plus one whole cube plus. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.